Hello everyone, Luke here and welcome back to the channel Some Mechanical Engineering. It's the second oldest branch of engineering right after civil engineering. And the first person that pops to my mind when I say the term mechanical engineering is Charles Babbage. So Charles Babbage, in my opinion, is the father of computing and here is a perfect example. But not only that, he was an English mathematician, an inventor, a philosopher and guess what? A mechanical engineer. So Charles Babbage was actually born in London in 1781 and he lived here, well, and died here until 1871. So that's not all that happened during this lifetime. Of course, he's credited for a whole bunch of different inventions. So let's get into it. So Babbage was credited with two major inventions. The first one being the analytical engine and the second one being the difference engine number two. And we'll get into both of them. But first, let's talk about the analytical engine and what this was. It technically was a general purpose, completely programmed, controlled mechanical digital computer, which required no human intervention. It was designed to be programmed using punch cards, just like the Jacquard loom, actually one of my favorite pieces of mechanical engineering, something that was one of the most groundbreaking features at the time. The analytical engine was intended to be large enough to contain around 1,000 50 digit numbers, which was more than any computer constructed before 1960. Now that is kind of crazy. Next thing was the difference engine number two. So with the groundbreaking work on the analytical engine, which was largely completed by 1840, Babbage began to consider a new difference engine. Between 1847 and 1849, he completed the design of the difference engine number two. The difference engine number two and the analytical engine share the same design for the printer, an output device with remarkable features. Not only did it produce a hard copy inked printout on paper as a checking copy, but it automatically stereotypes the results. That is, it impresses the results on a soft material like plaster of, plaster, plaster of Paris, for example, which can then be used, well, for moulds. <laughs> that is, again, absolutely crazy. And as some of you guys might know, Charles Babbage actually died before he actually got to see some of these inventions fully built and fully working. But it wasn't until 1991, where the London Science Museum actually built a complete working specimen of the Babbage difference engine number two, a design that incorporated the refinements that Babbage discovered during the development of the analytical engine. And this machine was built using the materials and the engineering tolerances that would have been available to Babbage. So that actually eliminates the question that this machine would, couldn't have been built at that time period. Well, it's just been proved by the, the, the Science Museum in London. They built at the same tolerances, using the same tools and the same materials, and built something that just worked. And I might ramble a little bit here, but I find it absolutely insane that someone can produce a whole bunch of plans, a whole bunch of drawings, have it literally pictured in three dimensions in the mind, and just knowing that it's going to work, because it's not like they changed any of the plans. It's not like they altered anything. They built it to the exact specification that Babbage specified in his plans and it just worked and at that it worked perfectly so <laughs> I do think that is kind of cool and of course all of the designs for these engines were made well in London Babbage lived and worked in London for over 40 years he lived on a street called Dorset Street and he was at number one and they actually have a plaque on the wall commemorating him um, for living there and working there but he did die at the age of 79 like I said before he got to see any of the well the engines in real life but after going to the science museum I definitely felt like that was worth well sharing because I find it incredibly interesting I thought you guys might find it interesting too but yeah he's definitely one of my favorite mechanical engineers by far but with that being said that does bring me to the end of this this video I almost said channel end of this video I really hope you enjoyed it and if you have any questions or suggestions please don't hesitate to leave them in the comments and I'll try my best to answer them all anyway guys I hope you have the most fantastic day and I will see you later